Quite sure? Even though you disobeyed my orders when we were at war, don't treat me like a fool. Well, I, uh, I'm sorry, Your Highness. Hey, like, that's Jerry up there. Oh? He's got a nerve standing there next to Montague. Uh, huh? Bowen? Sire! Oh. My friends, listen to me. We have lost many in the war with the long-tailed monkeys over the last few days. There is no doubt that it hurts a great deal. But we must remember that life is like the seasons. When the winter departs, the spring comes to bring us new life. And our tribe is like the seasons. Like them, it has to keep on going. And now, now it is time to pull together to rebuild our great home. Huh? Yay! Rebuild our home! Rebuild our home! Rebuild our home! Very good. Settle down, settle down. Please, I have a very important announcement still to make to you all. Huh? Hey, look at that. You see what Montague's holding? Huh? That's Uncle Matthew's necklace. Come on, Mike. Uncle Matthew's necklace fell on the Dragon River. That must be another one, all right? Yeah, that necklace is the symbol of leadership and power, and only the captain of the Elite Guard can wear it. Oh. I... Yes, that's right, Jerry. That is Matthew's necklace, and you must take it and wear it, for you are to be Montague's captain as from now. Montague, I... I'm not capable. No, you are not. You are not as strong as Matthew, 
but he believed in you with all his heart, and it's up to you to live up to his expectations. Hey, he, from this moment on, the new captain of guards is Jerry. I have decided. This selection is my decision, and I expect you all to abide by my choice. The important thing now is to rebuild our home. So let us begin that work today! Montague's right, but Jerry's wrong. He's not capable enough to be the guard's captain. <sighs> I wish Matthew was still with us. <laughs> I can't believe my luck. <laughs> The necklace! Oh yeah, he doesn't deserve it. Yeah, he's just a country boy and he's far too selfish. Yeah, and he even liked to Montague over a girl. I can't believe a man like that's our new captain. Oh, another thing. How are we gonna rebuild our homes with him as captain? It's too bad. Uh. Selena! <laughs> <sighs> Huh? What? I... Jerry! Jerry! What? <sighs> Jerry, you're the captain, right? So why are you so depressed? It's just that they... They hold me responsible for Matthew, and none of them will show me any respect. Jerry, Montague said to rebuild. If you can do a good job at that, People will give you respect, I promise you. And people will love you the same way they love Matthew. Huh? I believe, and you will have to believe in yourself. Selena, I, I, I need to think on my own. Fine, you go. Getting too old to climb up here. Guess my body's like our bridge. It needs a lot of repairs done. <laughs> come on, hey, come on. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 what are you two doing? Cut that out. <laughs> Guards are not supposed to play while on duty. You'll have no lunch. <laughs> now get back to work, unless you want me to cancel your dinner too. <laughs> <laughs> A rushing current needs to be diverted, Jerry, and not to be blocked altogether. You think? I don't. I'll block them all up if that's what it takes. Jerry! Hmm? Hey, Jerry, we finished our work! Hop. Made it! 
I just came over to tell you the bridge will be finished this afternoon. Hmm. Uh, oh, hey, Bowen, is my dad anywhere in Rock Valley? Yes, he is. <laughs> then I'll go see him when the project's finished. I found some really delicious fruit behind the Dragon Waterfall. What? Have you been to that waterfall? Uh, yeah, I have. You have to report to me every time you go out of the village, you understand? Uh, Gary, Sophie and I, we, uh... I don't care what you did. You have to obey my orders for the safety of the tribe. Oh. I'll let it go. Just this one time. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's nobody. You're right. I mean, how can Jerry even begin to be our captain without Matthew's help, huh? What? That right? Sure it is. Matthew helped him out all the time. You better watch what you're saying. Jerry huh? knows what he's doing. He'll do the job better than any of you guys could. Do you think Montague would have chosen him if he couldn't? Huh? Answer me that. Huh? Yeah, well, you would stick up for him. You always do. Huh. Look, your man may be the captain around here now, but you're just still a girl. So when a male guard's talking, you should keep your opinions to yourself. Hmm. What? You... Ah! Why, ah! you... Ah! 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 It's okay. <laughs> you two watch your mouths. Selena, come with me. Coming. Uh, he's uh, gonna get his. And that's and that's a promise. You're going down, Jerry. Watch this. Bowen. Bowen. Yes. No one respects me. Huh? Why won't they accept me as their captain? You must tell me. Not respected? Who is it that shows you no respect? What do you mean, who? Did you not see what just happened? Oh. My sight's not what it was. The other day I thought I saw a peach, and it turned out to be a banana. Or I might see a banana, and I think it's a pear. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's all fruit, but still. A pear can be a watermelon, and a watermelon can turn out to be a pear. I did tell you about the pear, right? Hmm? Uh, you told me. You see, boy, I can't even remember what I just said, and I sure can't hear or see clearly anymore. But don't worry, the world will give you some clues as to what to do. I'm too old for this. People can change if given the time. If you want respect, you have to give them that time. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time! It's lunch time! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> the kids will provide. Hey, can we have some? Oh, sure, no problem. Here you go. Uh huh. Take that. You dare disobey my orders? Huh? Huh? But what's wrong? We've been working all morning, so why can't we have some lunch? That's crazy. You expect us to work, 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 and never eat? You must be out of your mind, Jerry. Uh, you want to answer back? Huh? Uh, ow, 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 hey, enough! What's going on here? Who's asking? Oh, it's nothing. I can handle it, Your Highness. The project will carry on. Matthew never treated us this way. Hmm. Well, I'm the captain around here now. I'm the one that Montague trusts, and I'm the one he depends on. You understand, you simpleton? Don't anyone mention Matthew's name ever again. You got it? No, stop! Why can't we mention Matthew's name? Because of your own guilt. Stop all this now. Now. Listen. You will accept your punishment. You broke the rules. So you'll eat no lunch today. And you? Keep the team spirit up. That's the most important thing here. Yeah, come on, Jerry. What huh? nonsense? Ow. Jerry! Huh? Huh. Come on, son, let's go. Frank, back to work, everyone. 
Let's try and finish this before dinner, huh? <sighs> Where are you going? You don't need to supervise? They work better without me. None of them like me. Hey, where are you going? Wait for me! Hey, come on, you want to go for a walk? Sure. Hmm. Remember the first time that you brought me here? Uh, of course. It was when one eye attacked our tribe. And it was after that that I became captain of the guard. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The sky is still as blue as it was that day. And yet things have changed. Changed for good. <sighs> Jerry, I think you need to be a little easier on the guards. You see how they talk to me? How can I take it easy on them? I've been captain for a while, but they still don't give me any respect. The only way I can get that is by punishing them. Oh, Jerry. This is for the pain, and this is for missing my lunch. Oh, stop it! Let him go! He's your captain! He brought shame on our tribe! Selena, she killed him. Now let me go. Listen to me. You know it wasn't like that. Let me go. Let me go. Just calm down. Hey, pull me up. Help me, please. Pull me up. I can't hold on. Give me your hand. Reach! Ah, gotcha! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Hold on! Hold on to my hand! Help me, my captain! Help me! <laughs> so, do you still think Selena is guilty of murder? What? Oh, come on! You do? You hate her just as much as you hate me. Well, what if I were to just let go? What would you do? Uh, captain, Captain, I don't hate you! Really, I don't! You sure Matthew wasn't a better captain? No, he wasn't. He wasn't, I swear. You do. Yeah, he's just a country boy, and he's far too selfish. Yeah, and he even liked to monster huh? over a girl. Huh? I can't believe a man like that's our new captain. I know that you're lying. In your mind, I'll never replace Matthew. No matter what I do, you'll always prefer him as much as you hate me. Oh yes, and hate me you surely do. We don't hate you, Captain. We're scared of you. Huh? We don't like it when you punish us for every single little thing. It's really hard to bear. And sometimes you're even more strict than Montague himself. Huh? Uh, yes. Uh, I know how you feel. But whatever I do for you, you still won't respect me. Ah, uh, wait! What are you doing, Captain? No, I was wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Help! Help yourself. Oh! Ah! 
Goodbye. What? He was killed? Sire, a long tail. A long tail killed him. How can you be sure? Uh, you think the killer is someone in our tribe? I think that we have to stay alert. One day I shall be king of the tribe. What? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 What? You! So you brought them here to start a war? It was you. You killed Matthew. You can get back into Kuncha when we are done. Love.